Hello, students of statics, this is Dr. Dan Baker, and welcome to this video to help you master three-dimensional moments. Hopefully you've already mastered two-dimensional moments. If you haven't, I would go back to the previous video and take a look at those two-dimensional moments because basically the three-dimensional ones are more complicated. And so you're gonna need to understand the two-dimensional ones before you move up into three-dimensional moments. All right, first of all, we have, again, a right-hand coordinate system. A right-hand coordinate system is where we're going to cross X into Y and get Z. We still can use our slide and then curl. Realize that in this drawing here, that this X-axis fundamentally is coming out of the page. I know it's drawn here at a 45-degree angle coming down the page, but it's just the way we have to draw it on a two-dimensional flat sheet. Okay, so X here is coming physically out of the page. Y is horizontal in the plane of the page. Z is vertical in the plane of that page. So if we use the slide, then curl. The slide in this case for the X is coming toward you. Okay, not really down along the X, but physically toward you. As you curl into the Y, Y is going to the right, curl in this direction, we end up with Z, right? X cross into Y is Z, gives us a right-hand coordinate system. Now realize that there are other right-hand coordinate systems. Okay, this is also a right-hand coordinate system. Still we're gonna cross X into Y and get Z. Here, we're gonna slide then curl, sliding our fingers along X curling them up into the Y. And again, Z here is not down at a 45 degree angle. Z is physically coming out of the page, right? It's the third dimension coming out of the page. So that gives a positive moment, recalling that our thumbs up is positive, thumbs down is negative. Now that's at least for this axis coming out of the page. We will end up with situations on three neutral problems where our thumb is not going in or out of the page. Our thumb will actually be in the plane of the page. Okay, so if our thumb is in the plane of the page, in this case, it'd be pointing in the y direction. If it's down this direction, it'd be the negative y direction. If it's in this direction here, the negative x. Okay, so that's one of the complexities of the right-hand rule in three dimensions is it's no longer either just thumbs up or thumbs down. We actually gain these other axes to have our thumb pointing in different directions. Now, using the three-finger right-hand rule, we can do that as well. I'm going to stick with the first vector, second vector, and moment vector. And so in this case, we would be X crossed into Y, thumb comes out of the board in the Z. Okay, so that would be to define my right-hand axis. Now, let's add a force. Let's add this force over here. Now, all the forces that I'm going to add in this video will either be along the X or parallel to the X, parallel to the Y or parallel to the Z. So this force here is parallel to the Y axis because they're on parallel lines. So as I take a look at the moment, now the moment in which we're gonna compute is gonna be the moment here around the origin for all the um, different moments in this video. And so here at the origin, we draw an R vector from the origin over to the line of action of this force. Okay, so using our slide then curl, that would mean that we're gonna slide toward that force. Our force is going up in the y direction. My thumb comes out of the page and we find out that that's positive, um, positive z direction or a positive k hat if we're using our unit vectors i hat, j hat, and k hat. Fundamentally here we have an i hat crossed into a j hat. And so you can always back up your physical right hand rule with the cross product circle, right? i hat cross into j hat is k hat. And I'm not gonna write that on here because this is gonna be a physical focused um, application of the right hand rule. Let's do another one. Let's go ahead and put this force here horizontal. This is gonna be parallel to the X. So this force is going to be in the X direction. Still a moment here around the origin. Now my R goes up in this direction. My force is going to the right. I roll my hand down, my thumb goes into the page. I get a negative K hat or in the Z direction for my moment around the origin of that force. Okay, let's go one that's a little bit trickier here. Out here, so on, it's sitting here on the Z axis, but the force is in the Y direction, right? Parallel to Y. So from the origin, if I slide my fingers, along this um, Z axis. Realize what I'm really doing here is I'm sliding them out of the page, right? That's what the Z axis is, it's coming out of the page. And I look at my force, it's going upward. I have to turn my hand all the way around and then roll my fingers and my thumb is going in the negative X direction. Okay, once again, R coming out of the page, force going up in the Y, thumb going in the negative X direction with three fingers. Here's my 
uh, r coming out of the page. My force vector is, let's see here, get all these right here. So my r is coming out of the page. I don't do the three figure one as often. My force vector, this is getting really hard to do. So out, force vector is going up, thumb is going over to the left. This is honestly one of the reasons I don't like the three finger right hand rule. It just takes more wrist flexibility than I end up with sometimes. Uh, let's also do one here. Let's go with a force going downward over on, let's go over here. Let's go parallel to the x-axis. Okay, so a force component in the x. Still my r vector is going to be the same. r is going from the origin here to the intersection with that line of action. Slide then curl, right? Your fingers are basically coming out of the page toward this force vector. The force vector is going to the right. So I curl my fingers to the right. My thumb goes upwards in the y direction. So basically your r would be in the z, your f is going to be in the x, and your moment would be in the y. Okay, x crossed, excuse me, r crossed into force is equal to moment. With three fingers, r coming out of the page, force, this one's a little bit easier, going over to the right, thumb goes upwards in the plane of the page. So that gives you an idea of how you can use, use either slide then curl or the three finger right hand rule to physically compute the moments of three dimensional vectors. And again, if you wanna use the cross product circle, that cross product circle, we could write as I hat, J hat, and k hat, and if we're going in this direction here, which is my preferred direction, it's the right hand rule direction. These are the positive um, cross product components. And if we're going in the opposite direction, so from i hat here to k hat, this is in the negative, k hat into a positive j hat is negative, j hat into an i hat is also negative from the cross product, okay? So you can use your cross product circle, or you can use your physical hand to come up with the components. Now, if you have a complex R vector, say your R vector is coming out here to a force, maybe this force is sitting out here in the plane of X and, X and Z. I think it's totally fine at that point to set up a little determinant. And with that determinant, come up with your components from the determinant. You also could break the R vector into components if you wanted to. Basically one R vector is gonna be in the positive X, another R vector in the positive Z. Cross both of those into the force vector in the positive Y and end up with your moments, just so we can do those here real quick. So my R vector in the X direction would go this direction, curled into my force vector going up. I'd end up with a positive z component and then the second position vector in the z that's basically coming out of the page here right because the z direction is out of the page so out of the page curl my hand or turn my hand around so i can push my fingers upwards toward that force and so we end up with the fundamentally a z rz crossed into fy which is 100 percent of this force gives me a negative x direction Hopefully this helps you take the physical right hand rule and you can back it up here with the cross product circle and I appreciate all your hard work.